Hi, this is Freddie News Review, the podcast. And now, and now, America's independent voice, Rob Redding. <laughs> this is Redding News Review. Rob Redding, America's independent voice, Michael Kless, Lady I Luck. No you know, I read this with great interest here. Yeah, America needs a Republican president. And I said, okay, that doesn't say what I think it says. And I read it again. America needs a Republican president. I read it again. And I said, wait a minute, that doesn't say what I think it says. Of course, it says this. America needs a white Republican president. And I was a little floored by this. Uh, Kevin Jackson has penned an article about this. And as a matter of fact, he's a well-thought-of author, best-selling author of Sexy Brilliance, Other Political Lies, and The Big Black Lie. He has, of course, made some headlines here because this was reposted by Joe the Plumber, and Joe the Plumber was called a racist for posting it. Kevin, welcome to the program. I appreciate you for joining us. Oh, glad to be here, Rob. So tell me, uh, you, you've been all over. Let me just give folks an idea. That was just a, a thumbnail sketch. You're a highly sought-after national speaker. You've graced the stage with Sarah Palin, Neil Bortz, Herman Cain, Judge Napolitano, Andrew Breitbart, the Matt Drudge's bitch, he called himself. And what's interesting is, you know, hey, look, I know who Andrew Breitbart was. Uh, in, in addition to your Amazon best-selling sexy brilliance and other political lies and the big black lie, you've been a regular on Glenn Beck show you're in other words you, you've been involved with big government american thinker town hall you are a conservative you you're probably more conservative than a lot of people are conservative that are white and conservative so oh, no, uh, yeah well, what 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 gives though here i understand that you're a conservative and you might want to see a republican office but do you really have to put out there that you want to see a white guy in office yeah, actually, it, it, the, what was funny about it, Rob, is everybody looked at the title, which is what, you know, the soundbite American culture is now. Just look at the title, make a determination of what you think is in the article, and go forward. Yeah, I do. I want to see a white Republican president, and here's the reason. A white Republican president can't be, you can't say, if you criticize him, nobody calls you racist. In other words, if I disagree with George Bush ideologically for any reason, doesn't matter whether I'm black, Chinese, whatever, I can just say, I think George Bush is an idiot, and nobody will go, you're a racist. So you're, you're free. You're, you're politically free to express yourself and disagree with somebody, hopefully, on the issues and say, you know what, I don't like the way Bush spends money, or I don't like Bush that he's a warmonger, or I don't like Bush for whatever reason. But you can't do that with a black president, at least not Barack Obama, because he's treated less than a child. Kevin. A child gets to learn from his mistakes. The media will cover up every mistake that Obama makes. They tell you, you're a racist. And you know uh -huh. what? People in America are tired of being told they're racist when for the 43 other presidents leading into Obama, if you disagreed, it was okay. Kevin. All right. I actually read the article, and I, I read your two points and all of that. The perceived racial tensions would, you know, would not be a factor anymore, allowing the government to focus on legislation without race. I actually think that people should read the, the, the column. But let me ask you this one simple question, because I think this is an important question. Sure. Can, can we agree that racism exists? Well, sure. Racism, is, racism exists. It exists in all cultures. All over I didn't the world, ask you that. I, you know, and you know, we're, talk, we're talking about what context we're talking about. I'm talking about white versus black racism. Well, that's, that, I can answer that question, but hopefully it's followed by does racism exist? Is there, let me ask you a question. Does black racism against whites exist? Oh, God. Are we going to really? I, see, I knew you were going I, We're both very smart people, so we don't have to do this to ourselves. We're having conversation about black and white racism. No, you are talking no, you about, me about we're talking, racism. Yeah, I, I know, and, and I know we can have the conversation about whether black people don't like white people. Yes, to answer the question, even though it's my show, I'll, I'll be fair, but we're 
we're both very intelligent people. So I'm just going to say this. Yes, absolutely. Black versus white racism exists. The problem is, is that many blacks don't have a position for it to matter. Now, I'm going to ask you the question again. Does white versus black racism exist? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if that's the case, then, I mean, isn't some of what we are seeing against President Obama racism? I go back to the same to the same premise of the blog of the post. If that's if that is the only litmus test that we're going to give for Obama, I would ask you: Were there people who were racist against Bush? You would answer the, if you answered honestly, you'd answer yes. I would ask you: Does it matter? No, because he 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 signs up for a job where he knows people are going to hate him for a variety of reasons. We've become such a pansy-ass society that all we want to do is look for a reason to give a guy a, 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 a get-out-of-jail-free card. The fact of the matter is this. Obama came into office, and the very first thing he said is, I inherited a mess. Now, you're on a lot of stations. If you took over for somebody, I guarantee you your radio station won't let you use that scapegoat clause. I've never taken over a corporation or taken over an opportunity where somebody, where I got to say, well, listen, I know the, the guy that I just inherited this, this sales territory from sucked, and that's the reason why I can't come in and do my job. I was brought in to do a job and to do it successfully. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. We're up against a break. I assume you have more than one segment in you because I want to talk to you for a minute. You're going to be around for a second. Okay, Kevin Jackson is our guest. He's a talk show host. He's a columnist. He's an author extraordinaire. He's written this column that we need a white Republican in office. Well, that's what we need. And he's a black guy. At least last time I checked, he looked black. The phenotype is that of a black guy. All right, this is Reading News Review. I'm Rob Redding, America's independent voice, giving you the pressing news that you need to know. This show is brought to you by attorneyroymiller.com. Rob Redding, America's independent voice. Not a Republican, not a conservative, not a liberal, not a Democrat. America's independent voice, giving you the pressing news that you need to know first on this program. We're talking to Kevin Jackson, columnist, author, talk show host. Extraordinaire. He's written a column. It's provocative as hell. And he says that the next president needs to be a white Republican. Not just a Republican. We understand he's a Republican. We understand he's a conservative. Uh, but he, he feels as if he needs to be a white Republican. He's a black guy. Now, let me ask you this question. Has Obama made a big deal of the fact that his approval numbers have fallen and it's despite the fact that he could blame racism? Well, let me correct you. You're, a, it's a mischaracterization to say that the blog is about, that article is about me wanting the next president to be a white guy. The idea of that, of that post was to say exactly what I said earlier, which is with white Republican presidents, they have nothing to hide behind. Right, Barack I understand. Obama hides behind everything. And uh, in, 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 as far as regarding the... Uh, I don't polls, think that's the truth. Well, first of all, you're, the title of the article on, on the, uh, the article is America Needs a White Republican President. Right. right. Uh, that is the title of the article. And right. if you read it... The, uh, it the talks about of, how you can hide behind race. Got it. I understand. We don't need to repeat it. But, right. I, but, we, let, but let's go back here again. The, does he? How does he hide behind race? Because the last time he had a question about this come to him, he said, I don't think the low poll numbers have anything to do with race. And I think that they do. I think he's absolutely, absolutely wrong. Uh, well, uh, health care, every, every issue that's come up with respect for, for the most part, every issue, it revolves around race. If you don't want Obamacare... You have people saying, "Well, uh, you're you're, ra you're you're against Barack Obama's policy because you want to hurt black people." Uh, Jesse Jackson said, "You can't be a black man if you're against Obamacare." Uh, his, everything that comes out with respect to Barack Obama, somebody is going to bring up the race card. And here's a here's a way you can judge it. Barack Obama was supposed to be the most transformative person in America because he was half black and half white. It was supposed to take the he, – he was elected overwhelmingly by whites in America. So the idea was we would not be talking about race. We could focus on issues. 
Every time something comes up, the Black Panthers uh, menacing people outside of the thing, the uh, out of the, the polling booth, uh, uh, Gates incident where a, a cop, a white cop, was uh, stopped Bill, uh, Gates uh, from from getting into his own home, and uh, he, he got cops called, and Obama blamed the white cop, and on and on and on. Instead of addressing the issue of race and saying, you know what, America, let's just drop this. People can dislike me because of my policies. Are there people that don't like me because I'm black? Perhaps. But America has proven over and over again that it is not the racist enclave that everybody's oh, trying to make gosh. it out to be. Okay, let, now let's go back to some of your examples. First of all, again, I throw out the, the analysis that the poll numbers recently, he was asked about whether he thought that this was racial, and he said no, he didn't think it was. Did he not say no? I mean, am I making this up? Okay, well, fine. So he, he says no on that. Okay, but let's, all right. Let's now. Talk, well, let's, but no, 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 wait a minute a second. The... Hold on a second. You gave two other examples. I want to go through those real quickly before we go any, anywhere else. Number number two, you said, you know, the Black Panther. I thought that was an Eric Holder thing. I didn't think that that was a White House thing. They came from the Department of Justice, which investigated this and said there's nothing oh, okay, there. Fine. You, le, okay, let's go Trayvon Martin. Let's talk about Hold on a second. On well, well, no, no, more, no more examples yet. But I can and then you said, of examples. Wait, hold on a second. Then, you think you're then, then you said, Skip, well, wait a minute a second. That was Attorney General Eric Holder. I'm right about that, aren't that I? Is, that is not the Attorney General. That's Eric Holder's final decision. That was but his Barack final Obama, decision, but Barack that wasn't Obama Obama's was decision. Okay, well, listen, if, if, if you, as a guest, I'd like you to let me make a point. Well, well no, no, you've Obama already made some points, and I'm just I'm just correcting the record here. And then the other thing you said. No, no, what, was, no, no, you're not correcting the, other, the record. What, I am correcting the record. First of all, piece. the president never said anything about the Black you're Panthers, getting a piece all right? of the record. Okay, what? Exactly the, what right. if the president? No, what? You're exactly right. You're exactly right. He okay, never said then, anything about that. Right. You said that he plays up race at every turn, and no, that's, what that's I'm absolutely you is liberalism in general. And Barack Obama had a chance to quell people in that discussion, and he never said a word. That's exactly what I'm talking about. As a leader in this country, supposedly a leader on race, he issues, should have said something on he, race. He absolutely should have said something. And where he what should he have said? Where, where, okay, so Gates, he shouldn't have said something about that. Trayvon Martin, he but shouldn't hold on have said anything. Stop, stop with Trayvon Martin. I think he should have said something about Trayvon Martin. But let me let me go back. Let me go back to Gates. Skip Gates. You said he blamed the officer at the end. He ended up having a beer summit, which was milk toast. He he ended up saying he he was stupid. He well well that that these these were stupidly done things, and he backpedaled on this, and he had this beer summit with them. If if that's not not being the racial healer, I don't know what is. Oh my God! So, so you—that—that's your definition of being a racial healer, where he comes in, foments the racial, the racial situation where there was none, and then comes back. Where there and says, was oh none. Oh my goodness! Well, sorry guys, I, I healed it. Skip Gates was locked out of his house and almost went to jail. Well, went to jail for going into his own oh, house. So you agree? That's that the racial cop was profile. Wrong for doing his job. You agree? I that agree. The cop was wrong We've for doing already. His job. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. We started this interview, and you agreed that racial, uh, racial uh, guess situations exist. Racial profiling is one of those types of situations. Obviously, we you agree that racism profile. exists. You racially profile. I don't even have to know you to know you racially profile. Everybody in this world racially profiles. Everybody. I'm, in this world I'm not profiles. denying that. I'm not denying that I racially profile. I'm not denying that at all. So okay, again, well, that, we've already point. agreed so what, that racism exists. That are you arguing that racially profiling is the wrong thing? The cop did not racially profile. The cop responded and did what cops do. They find out what's happening when somebody is entering a home in an unlawful way and what neighbors de deemed an unlawful. All right, hold on a second. We got another break to take. Um, I, I want to keep you over for one more break. Kevin Jackson is our guest, a sharp guy. He wrote this column, America Needs a White Republican President. This is Reading News Review. I'm Rob Redding, America's independent voice. This show is brought to you by Attorney Roy Miller. At attorneyroymiller.com, you get the best in legal services. He is the guy you want to see for all of your legal needs at attorneyroymiller.com. This is Reading News Review, and I'm Rob Redding, America's independent voice. We're back with more Reading News Review, the show in moments. This is Reading News Review. We're talking to Kevin Jackson, columnist, talk show host, big time bookseller. You know, Kevin Jackson's on the line with us. And you, there's an ultimate contradiction here with what you're saying. You're saying he should have said something 
about the Black Panthers, and he shouldn't have said something about Trayvon Martin. Are, are you asking me that, Rob? Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. No. What I well, let's not let let's 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 not what these, let's look at these things in in their context, and then we can look at them individually. We're talking should, about black issues. Should Barack yeah. Obama be should Barack Obama be protecting the citizens of the United mm. States who are trying to vote, exercise their their uh, uh, rights to do that? Absolutely. He should be speaking out about that. That we so he should not, speak about should, a case that talk nobody about, talked about except you, you the conservatives and the listen, Republicans. No, what I'm telling you is this. The thing about whether you want to look at how something, I look at right and wrong. If someone is being denied their right to vote, I believe that is something that Barack Obama can speak about. In this particular case, it was done to intimidate. No question about it. So if you want to look at these and parse them, I'm happy to do that. He should speak about that. He should, when it came to Trayvon Martin, he should have spoken about the idea that somebody would try to make that into a racial situation, he should have spoken about that. But you just said but, a minute ago he shouldn't have spoken about no, that. No, what I'm saying, he shouldn't speak about it in terms of, of, of the... It, it, if you look at it in and of itself, it is just a, it's a thing that happens in this country all over the nation. Every single day, black kids are being killed. Why mm -hmm. highlight this one? When it became racial, Barack Obama had yet another time to say to the American people, look, guys, let's not lose sense of what this is about. Is it a tragedy? Yes. Is it a racial incident that needs to rise to the level that this is? The answer is absolutely no. And anybody with a modicum of common sense knows that. The only people who want to make that into a racial incident are the people who are, ra are going to make money off of it. And to make money off of the tragedy of a black kid dying, I think it's farcical. So okay, if you there, look there's at some problems with what you said. That. And then, let's, look, let's look at them individually. First of all, the AG disagreed with you, so the president shouldn't have said anything about it. And secondly, Trayvon Martin was all over the national news, and President Obama did not come out and say something about it immediately. As a matter of fact, he waited several days, if not weeks, if I remember correctly, before he actually made his first you, you, statement you about it. Is, and you, it wasn't. You claim this is independent and fair radio, and it is far from it. You are. Wait a minute. You're wait a minute. I'm giving you plenty of. Subjects as anybody I've ever met. If you look, wanna... racism exists. You agreed. The racism exists on every side of these issues. There are white people being beat up every day by blacks disproportionately. That racism exists. I'm not trying to cover it because I'm talking about what Obama's doing. He hasn't said a word about this. What I'm telling you is, in the context of what I wrote, Barack Obama is failing this country with respect to race issues. The reason why I want a president that I can criticize without having to come back to, well, he's black, and, and, and what, what's, so de what's absolutely so de despicable about all this is the idea that Barack Obama is so weak that he can't take care of himself. And nobody seems to recognize that last time I checked, he's the pow most powerful man in the free world. But Look, every time you turn around, somebody, including you, is going, well, what about this? Guy? Wait a minute. Stop. That? Stop. 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 You obviously don't know who I am. I wrote a book called uh, Not a Nonviolent Negro, How I Survived Obama. It is not a flattering book about President Obama. So I'm no big Obama fan. So I, I don't I don't think I don't think you have me uh, pegged as, quote unquote, uh, this liberal correctly. But let me just say this, uh, th that you say that President Obama should should have been asserting himself in certain ways versus other ways now on these uh, on, on these issues, not just not asserting himself at all. So he should have said something about Trayvon Martin, just to be clear, because before the break you said he shouldn't have said anything at all. Now you're saying he should have said something, but he shouldn't have tried to make a racial issue out of it. But isn't it true, I just just for point of clarification, that's what you said, but, but, but isn't it true that when we look at how he won in 2012, that whites did not vote for him, that whites, whites in every single precinct that we look at across the country, cumulatively he lost by more than 5% percent and more than 35 percent in the south isn't that an indicator sir that there is racism that is confronting this man no you just proved my point if, if barack obama won in 2008 and he had to have a ton of white votes to do it and he got fewer white votes than before i guess the people that voted for him the first time the white people that no longer support him are they suddenly racist we are we're dealing with the minutia huh? 
In other words, if, if white if people Barack don't if, if vote people, for him, white people in 2012 did not vote for him. That voted for him in 2008. Are you are you telling me that the people that that abandoned him, the white people that abandoned him in 2012, are they now suddenly racist? Uh, look, th this is exactly my point. We are talking about an issue of a man who got elected twice in this country, where an overwhelming number of people are white. And, and so there's, it's obvious that he, he got the white vote. Whatever fraction it took for him to win it, he got it. And we are talking about minutia. We're talk, because when we talk about Trayvon Martin, we've got to bring it up in the context of race. When we talk about uh, Gates, we've got to bring it up in the context of race. We talk about the budget, the deficit, anything. We've got to bring it up in the context of race. That is exactly the point of my blog. I want somebody that when something happens, I don't have to go, wow, well, hold on a minute, was he white or was he black? I want to just be able to say, you know what, he shouldn't be talking about that. He's got better things to do with his time than talk about a cop and it, it getting arre arresting a citizen that happened to be a friend of his. We, the president got more to do in this country than that. That I guarantee you. The president of this country has more to do than talk about Trayvon Martin's death because while he mm -hmm. talked about that, hundreds of black children were killed mostly by blacks. So that's what I'm talking about. And that's what so, I talk about in my books is the inconsistency of people that want to make this a black-white country when it is far from that. But you've already agreed that it's a black-white country. Look, no, in closing, the, 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 you American, have agreed that you've already said that it's racist. So look, here, racism no, no, exists. No, I didn't. First of all, don't, tell, don't put what? words in my mouth. You, you didn't say what racism you did, exists? You asked me a question, which I think is a silly question. Kevin, is it, are black people, white people racist? Yes, there yeah. are whites that are racist. Okay, racism exists. I yeah, we, we agreed on both. Chinese people are racist. We're not living in China. We're talking about America. So, oh, look, in the closing, I, look, I want to give you a chance to give promote your book or whatever you want to promote at the end here in closing. We've we only got a few seconds left. So, I mean, <laughs> we could keep arguing about racism, whether it exists, but you've already said it does. Let you want to change your mind on that, too. So, is the white racism, does black on white racism exist, Rob? We've already answered that. Do you okay. want to? Do you want to so give a closing? Do you want to? Do you want to? Is this my interview or your interview? Look the, again. Uh, we want to. Uh, so, do you yet. want? So, in closing, do you want to give a plug of how people can find you? <laughs> you can go to theblacksphere.net, <laughs> read the blog, read the post for yourself, and find out anything you want about me, books or whatever else. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Kevin Jackson. We appreciate you, sir. All right. This is Reading News Review. I'm Rob Reading, America's independent voice, giving you the pressing news that you need to know first on this program at 855-ROB-3080. That's 855-762-3080 to get into the radio program. This is the show that they talk about. This is the show that they fear. This is Reading News Review, and I'm Rob Reading, America's independent voice. This show is brought to you by Attorney Roy Miller, Attorney at Law, Attorney Roy Miller, AttorneyRoyMiller.com. That's attorneyroymiller.com. He's one of the best attorneys doing it. You tell him that I told you to call. He'll take care of you, all right? Attorney Roy Miller, attorneyroymiller.com. That's attorneyroymiller.com. We're back with more of Reading News Review, the show, and what Bill Maher had to say about President Obama's fear, and Tavis Smiley had to say about how President Obama's running this country for blacks into the ground. Hang on. This is Reading News Review. You've been listening to Ready News Review, the podcast with America's independent voice, Rob Reddy, presented by Reading Communications Incorporated. For all the pressing news you need to know, log on to www.readynewsreview.com.